Hey folks, got a new friend battle for you. My opponent today is Shaggy Ginger, who just won my Nuber tournament. Um, yeah, thanks for all of you, all three of you who uh, entered that tournament. Um, it was a two-loss elimination tournament, and Shaggy walked out of it undefeated. So, uh, congratulations to him, and thanks again to the other two trainers who competed. Uh, here we go. Oh man, I just love this new capture card. The video comes out so much crisper. Um, I mean, there's an unfortunate thing that it, um, it needs to be deinterlaced, but, you know, that's a small price to pay for no drop frames. Anyway, I start off with Uxie, as I often do. Um, he's got uh, Ambipom, who I'm pretty sure is going to fake out, um, and that's prevent me from setting up Stealth Rock. So I'm going to go ahead and switch out to Tachikoma, who um, isn't going to feel that at all. Um, and I'm going to hit back with um, uh, Hidden Power Fighting. Um, and which I was expecting to do a lot of damage. Um, he's his taunt, and I guess he was expecting me to um, use substitute as he switched out. Um, but sorry for him, he didn't. Uh, that didn't happen. Um, uh, I guess uh, either um, Ambipom has high special defense, or I don't know. But um, that did not one hit KO like I thought. Anyway. Uh, Ambipom uses U-turn and gets out of there before it's KO'd on the next turn. Um, uh, yeah, uh, takes a bit more damage, uh, thanks to its life orb. Uh, anyway, Ambipom goes away, and I'm pretty sure Weezing's gonna come out, because I paid attention to a selection screen, and Weezing is gonna take this for fun. Um, it resists hidden power fighting, uh, or it resists fighting type moves, and it's just like, whatever. Uh, and so there's really not much I can do, um, with Tachikoma right now. So I'm going to go ahead and switch out to Hadarak uh, so I can set up and so I can um, actually do some damage to him. Actually, I don't know why I went with Hadarak and not Uxie. Um, Uxie has a, actually has a super effective attack that could hit it. Um, and besides, uh, also has Stealth Rock, so I don't know. Uh, and wouldn't have really cared about this um, this burn hacks, or not burn hacks, this uh burn. Um, but anyway, I do set up Stealth Rock, so that's good. Um, that's good for me. Uh, but yeah, this was a bad choice. Maybe I forgot that Weezing levitated for a second? I don't know. Uh, oh, I, I was probably expecting it to explode, and I wanted to minimize the damage, but uxie has got really high special, or a really high defense, so it could have taken an explosion from Weezing, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, he sends out Soccer Fan, great name, uh, Don Fan, um, who I'm like, oh, he sent out his spinner, so he's gonna spin away my, uh, Stealth Rocks. But, you know, that's okay. Patrick also knows Stealth Rocks, so I figure that he's gonna be faster. Or no, sorry, I figure that I'm gonna be faster, so, um, I don't wanna go ahead and set up Stealth Rock right away because it's not gonna do anything. Um, but, uh, so I go ahead and heal Bell and get rid of that burn, um, on my, um, Steelix. Anyway, I was wrong here. He actually decided to set up. So now he's got Stealth Rock up, and I've got Stealth Rock up. So, you know, it's a, it's what it is. Um, so I go ahead and attack it with Psychic. Um, not really expecting it to um, KO, but I get the crit, and um, that takes it down to very low HP. He uses Assurance. I guess he was thinking I was going to switch out, and then whoever I'd sent out would get Stealth Rock damage, and thus um, Assurance would do twice as much. But, you know, yeah, it's such high special, uh, or such high defense, even with the, um, you know, even, I wasn't at a crit, I don't remember, but it's a super effective hit nonetheless, and it did nothing. Uh, so, anyway, uh, Don Fan goes down, um, and I've taken out, what is that, the second Pokemon episode I've taken out? I don't remember. Anyway, he sends out, um, Arcanine, and so, um, his Arcanine has Intimidate, um, which is good for me, um, because it doesn't have flash fire, so I feel pretty confident... Oh, that was the first Pokemon I've taken out. Anyway, I feel pretty confident that I can switch into Blake. I figure he's going to use a stab fire move, and it's going to boost my flash fire, which I can then use uh, to attack him with a boosted attack that's not going to be... Um, that's not going to be absorbed by flash fire. Yeah, so he uses fire blast. I, uh, I predict that move well, and I get the boost. And so I... I do some calcs here. Flare Blitz is going to hit more because it's got higher, um, it's got higher base power 
uh, and it's got stab, and it's got the boost um, versus extreme speed, which would have been, wouldn't have been resist or would have been resisted anyway. He sends um, his wheezing back out. Um, he's predicting the hit, I guess, and he's figuring he can take it. I get the crit here, and it takes him out. What with all the boosts I've gotten, um, well, one boost, but it has stab. So that, that's the boost I was talking about. Um, and so at this point, you know, I'm down to half HP what with all the recoil damage I'm getting. Um, so when he sends his um, Arcanine back out, I have no idea what he's going to do here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get rid of my damage uh, with Morning Sun. Um, Anyway, he has Dragon Pulse as another move on his team, but it's not enough to take out Blake. Blake takes the hit, uh, and it's doing less than half damage, so I can just keep on using Morning Sun, and it's going to be okay. Um, so yeah, I'm going to re recover to full health. Um, he realizes that this is what's going on, so he's going to pull out, um, and he sends out Ambipom again, um, who's down to very low HP, but it's got another fake out in it, so uh, I'm not too thrilled about the situation, but whatever. I am going to attack. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use extreme speed, because here's the thing. Um, fake out uh, is a priority plus one move, same with extreme speed, so basically fake out only goes first if he's faster, and I'm not using priority move. Turns out Ambipom is faster, assuming that he invested in um, speed on his Ambipom, um, but uh, I guess he did wasn't going for the fake out anyway. Anyway, he sends out his Registeel, which I figure I can take out with a Flare Blitz, forgetting, of course, about the fact that he's intimidated me. So I go ahead and use Flare Blitz, and let's see how much this does. Watch this. Yeah, bam. Gets him down to almost no HP, but more than zero. So I'm like, ah oh, man. Um, after all that. So I figured he was going to explode, but I'm wrong. He's a seismic toss. Seismic toss. So I figure, oh, so this is not an exploder. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I'm going to take some damage from the seismic toss, but it's going to be less than half because, um, what's his name? Uh, Blake has more, oh no, actually Blake has less than, well, he has more than 100 HP. That's right, this is level 50, so um, Seismic Toss does 50. So I've restored a lot of health. Um, but he does, in fact, go for the explosion, so that takes out Blake, which is a shame. He could have been really useful later in the match, I guess. Um, but, oh well. Um, so Blake is down, and um, I'm a little worried at this point that, you know, I do have a lead, but um, I might be running out of momentum, and he could very easily take advantage of that. Um, so I've, I've lost my first Pokemon. I go ahead and send out Maryland, my Blastoise. Um, I decide that I'm going to get rid of the Stealth Rock. Um, yeah, Maryland has Water Spout, um, but it also is a utility dude, um, and can, uh, get rid, uh, and has Rapid Spin, uh, which I haven't used on him before, so I'm glad that I got the chance. I do check to make sure that he has no one who could, um, who would block the Rapid Spin. Not that I think he's gonna know that I'm doing it anyway. Anyway, uh, I guess he figured I was gonna switch out. He goes for a Swords Dance, um, and I'm like, oh, sweet, free hit. Um, so now I consider what I think he's gonna move, uh, use, and I think it's gonna be a close combat, um, and, you know, he's got a bunch of boosts at this point, uh, and so uh, I decide, well, what, what should I do here? Um, and I decide, I do some calcs, and I decide that I'm going to go for the water spout because no one else can one-hit KO him. And I'm really lucky he uh, decided to be greedy and go for the second swords dance. Uh, and so when I use water spout... Um, it doesn't take him out. Uh, I thought it, I guess I thought, kind of thought it would, but I was wrong there. Um, he's down to pretty low HP though. Um, and Marilyn's back up to full health, which is great. But now I'm pretty sure he's gonna go for a close combat. Um, and so I'm gonna switch into Tachikoma, who is going to, um, who's going to block that attack. So out goes Tachikoma, and let's see if, um, you know, he could use X Scissor and I'd be screwed. Uh, well, I guess he resisted anyway, but uh, close combat, he did use close combat, and so I am so lucky there. He's down to practically no HP, so it does him no good to switch out. Uh, I have no idea why I went for the Shadow Ball here instead of the Charge Beam. I guess I was going for the 100% accuracy, um, but the Charge Beam would have been the better move, get a spec, uh, spec Attack boost. But anyway, I've taken down his Pokemon. 
um, Tachikoma is at uh, one leftovers away from full health, and he sends out his Arcanine again. Um, so at this point, you know, I don't know what he's got on him. I figure it's a choice item because that would make sense why he was doing all the switching. Um, but I don't know whether it's Specs or Scarf. Um, Arcanine, I think, it has faster uh, is has faster speed anyway. Um, and so still at this point, I don't know whether it's Specs or Scarf. Tachikoma survived with like two HP. Um, so I'm able to take it out. I found out, and that's actually his last Pokemon. I found out from him later that it was a Scarf, which explained why he was outrunning all of my Pokemon. Um, but anyway, good game, Shaggy Ginger, and congratulations on winning my tournament. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. Yeah, there we go.